Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now, if you watch my videos regularly, you'll know that I absolutely love my photography. Uh, I've pretty much always got a camera on me. Uh, of course, if I haven't got an actual physical camera, I've got a smartphone, but more often than not, I've got either a compact camera or some sort of mirrorless camera with me. And I like to travel, uh, I would say in style, but uh, it's, it's more that I would like to travel with my camera and maybe an additional lens in a bag that doesn't shout camera. You know, something that's a little bit understated, a little bit stylish, and something that's nice quality and it's got plenty of pockets so that I can organize all my bits inside. Well, today I have got this. This is the Think Tank Photo Signature 10. It's part of their signature series. It does come in different sizes, so you can get larger ones. Uh, I think this one might be the smallest in the range, but certainly the most manageable. And they're also available in different colours as well. This particular one's the slate grey. Now, if you do want to check this out for yourself, or maybe pick one up, and I'm sure you will after seeing this video, there are links down below in the video description to where you can pick it up, and also to the Think Tank Photo website. And Think Tank Photo... I've reviewed their products for many, many years and they produce really high quality uh, camera bags and accessories and this is no exception, it really is rather special. Now this is a live broadcast, so if you want to ask me any sort of questions, pop them in the live chat. If you want to use the super chat feature, that will highlight your question or comment. And if you're watching this after the live broadcast on the main Geekanoids channel, then please do leave me some comments because I answer pretty much all of them. Uh, I pride myself in doing that. I'm in my 12th year of uh, YouTube now and uh, pretty much from day one I've answered, I would say, 99% of the comments or questions that I get. So let's get on with the review. So as I mentioned, this is the Signature series. This is the Signature 10. Uh, 10 refers to the size. I think they do a 13 and a 15 uh, in this particular range. And this is the slate gray version. So it's a really nice gray material color uh, with these sort of leather accents. And the leather sort of accessories that are on here, like the, um, the little clasps and the handle, uh, are really nice, either in this brown color, very, very rich brown, or the top handle is actually in a combination of brown and black across the top. Very, very cool indeed. And all of the zippers, all of the pulls on the zippers, give you a close up look at this, these are also in a nice brown color as well. I also want to show you the strap. The strap attaches to these rings on either side of the bag. And I've left it off just so that I can give you a really close look at it. So this is what the uh, actual uh, buckle pieces or quick release pieces look like. And then we've got adjustment on here so we can adjust the size. And this is like this webbing type material like you get on seat belts. But the actual piece that goes on your shoulder, this is really very, very comfortable indeed. Brown leather across the top and then this nice breathable padding on the underside. And I just think it's a really nice comfortable shoulder strap. I think they've done a really good job of that. So that comes supplied with the bag. Now let's give you a guide around the bag. We'll start around the back for a change. So around the back we've got this sort of looped piece of material. Uh, this is so that if you're carrying maybe a uh, pull-along suitcase, uh, some sort of luggage, you can actually pop this through the handle and then it will, will sort of be nice and secure on top of your rolling luggage. We've also got this pocket here with a zip. I showed you the little zip puller a bit earlier. And this pocket on the back is good just for some paperwork. Inside it's just like a light grey material inside but that's good for just some additional paperwork the zippers really nice action on the zippers nice and smooth and then that little pull tab tucks down nicely out of the way so it looks very very nice now i would have liked and this is me being very very picky for this to be leather as well but it is just this material i'm sure it's fine but it would have just been a nice touch to see a, a leather piece there as well on the bottom we've got the brown leather it's almost like an antique brown uh, round on this side uh, we've just got access if the if the bag's done up we can still get access in this side bit it's not zipped at the moment if this compartment was zipped I'll show you this in a short while that would be nice and secure in there but if you did want easy access then you could do that uh, round on this side here it's exactly the same round on the front we have got uh, this really nice material think tank photo on this little button badge here and then we've got these uh, pieces here and these are little push tabs just underneath the little flap 
you've got a little push tab to push up to open this up and these are adjustable so you can adjust this as well and then when you open it up you're presented with the main section of the bag now I'll show you the front flap first this has got another nice brown piece of leather here and these are little push studs and you can put it in two positions so you've got position one here, position two here for if it's a fully loaded pocket. And then this pocket has got organization in the front. It's got a little tiny slip pocket in the corner here. And then a zipped pocket with yet more organization inside that zipped pocket as well. So plenty of room for your accessories, things like spare batteries, uh, maybe a charger, maybe a little flash unit, and then some accessories in the front as well. So really nice pocket on that front section. And then you just push the little uh, push stud down into position to keep that nice and secure. And then this top section here has got a zip that goes all the way round. I've already opened this. This is what I was referring to. If this was closed, then you wouldn't be able to gain access to the pocket when that front flap is actually closed. Inside, we have got, I'll show you the compartments in a short while. We've got a little sort of a, a rain bag in here to cover up the bag. And then we've got plenty of organization in here as well. Uh, this is the familiar sort of uh, hook and loop system. So it's sort of all velcro -y type attachments. So you can pull these dividers out so that you can configure the bag to your own liking. There's extra ones on the side here, but this will accommodate a camera and a lens attached in this middle section here. Extra lens here, extra lens here, or lens and a larger flash. So you could accommodate a body with a lens attached and maybe two extra lenses in here very, very easily. And then at the back, we've got this Velcro bit just here. And we have got in there another little pocket. This is nice and padded as well. This is big enough to fit something like an iPad in or an iPad mini. And then we've got that Velcro attachment just there. And then right at the very back, we've got another little pocket. Ugh, if I can stretch this open, right at the very back of the bag. And then this all zips up. I just zip this up like so, all the way round. Just wanted to demonstrate that once this is zipped up, because the zip goes round in this area here, once that flap is then closed, so if we close this properly, you can't get your hand in, so it's nice and secure, you can't get in there and take something out. So very, uh, very nice secure bag, really nicely made, nice proportions to this as well. I like traveling light with my camera equipment. I take exactly what I need to uh, actually uh, take with me. Don't take excessive extra lenses if they're not gonna go on the camera because the weight does get you down after sort of half a day, even a few hours, and, and you should really just take what you're gonna need for the particular photo shoot you're doing, or if you're going out just traveling around, travel light with one camera and maybe an extra lens, uh, and it's just much more manageable. And this is a nice way to do it because that does not look like a camera bag. That just looks like a very, very nice uh, bag that you carry in your lunch in or carry in a few bits and pieces in. So really cool bag. Let's take a look inside the live chat. We've got uh, a big hello to Baza, Stephen Alley, uh, Girish, Girish, Baza, Days Physical Media, and Sumu Nath, thank you very much for tuning in. And also Paul Laker, thank you very much for tuning in, Paul. We've got a question here from Stephen. How are you this fine morning? I'm very, very good. Into my second live broadcast already. Really appreciate you tuning in. Um, we've also got here a question from uh, Stephen. What's your opinion on Tommy Cockles? No opinion at all. Not to share in this video anyway. Uh, Paul Laker watching this in the garden. Lovely sunny day in the UK. It most certainly is. And I am in the editing room, hiding away from the sun, bringing you this review of the Think Tank Photo Signature 10. Uh, Sumu Nass also asking, what lights do you use? Uh, I've got sort of one light up here, off camera, and one light way over there on the other side of the editing room, which is like a daylight bulb. And it just gives a nice lighting, a little bit warmer actually than I, than I normally use in my pre-recorded videos, but certainly for the live broadcasts, it works extremely well. Anyway, my opinion on the Signature 10 from Think Tank Photo, I think it's a lovely looking bag, 
nice combination of leather and the fabric material accommodates a lot for such a compact bag as well and I think they've done a fantastic job with it. If you want to pick up one for yourself then do check out the links down in the video description. Also there's a link down there to the Think Tank Photo website so please do check that out for other bags in their range. Thanks again for watching, if you enjoyed the video hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.